This is Malcolm341. In today's video, we're going to look at a free update to the Select Every Other Edge toolbox. I've redesigned the tool and it now works with faces and vertices, so let's check it out. Okay, so the first thing to mention is that this tool has now been converted into a toolbox. Before it was just these scripts that you ran individually. You had the P loop and P ring. And if you like those scripts, you should back them up because those are going to be gone and it's going to be replaced with this button here, the dot pattern. So I'm just going to move that over there and delete these from the shelf. So to launch the tool, if you've purchased the mega script pack, just come up to the dot pattern icon and click it and the tool opens over here. This is probably one of the most requested things on the channel is people would like to be able to select every other vert or every other face. Maya comes with a built-in way to do every other edge if you know how to use MEL scripting, and that's what the old tool could do. It could select every other edge along a ring or every other edge along a loop, but now we can do edges, faces, and verts. So to use the tool, what you want to do is, I'm going to do in face mode just because it's easier to see, you want to select two of any type of component that are adjacent. So two of these horizontally and click the dot loop. Dot loop means every other. That's a 3D Studio Max terminology that I brought over just because it was short enough to fit in the buttons. But dot loop means select every other dot, basically. So click the button. And boom, there you go. Every other face selected. Now, if you don't like the alternating pattern that it creates, you can click the invert dot pattern button here and you can toggle that on and off as many times as you want, basically to cycle the pattern between the two without accidentally selecting all the other stuff. If you want to get a dot loop the other way, so we did this way, which is like horizontal, you can also do vertical by selecting two components and clicking the dot loop and just wait a minute. And you can see it's done the dot that way along the edge there. And same thing, you can invert by doing this if it's not the right way that you wanted. One thing that I should mention is that the face selection and the vert selection is a lot slower than the edge selection. So if we were to do select these two edges here and go dot loop, it's instantaneous. You get it in like one second and then you can invert whatever. But if you do vert, for example, select two verts and click dot loop. See, it's taking a while to process. And that's because it's a brute force solution. There isn't a lot of fancy code going on there. I'm just like expanding and shrinking the selection a bunch of times to get every other vert. So just something to be aware of. It's going to run slower than the edge. The edge stuff will be instantaneous. So use edge when you can. Face and vert will take like a little bit longer. So there's face. Click dot loop, and then that just takes a little bit of extra time, but still way faster than selecting any of this stuff by hand. And then if we wanted to do, you know, the horizontal way, select two verts going that way and click dot loop. Wait for it. I think verts are actually the slowest, and then you get every other one, and then again, you can invert if it's not the right way. So there you go. Pretty cool. Everyone has been requesting that, so I'm super happy that I finally figured out how to do this. So let's move on to the pat loop or pattern loop. And so this is where you can define your own pattern of how many you want to select and how many you want to skip. So let's do faces again, just because it's easier to see. So if I select two faces, it's going to select two, skip two, select two. So we'll click the dot pattern and wait a minute. And there we go. So we get the two on, two off, two on, two off, and then you can use the invert again. Now, if you wanted to do like four on, four off, you just select four, do the pattern loop. And then same thing, you can invert it or whatever. And what's really cool about the pattern loop and the pattern ring is you can determine where you want that pattern to start. So if we just go over to a top down view, if that's not the pattern you want and you wanted the pattern to be perfectly, you know, aligned or along the right angle or whatever, we can click the pattern loop. And it gives us that and we can invert it if we don't like that. But if we wanted the pattern to start just off to the side, so let's say we wanted to do these, we can start it there. And that will be one of the two things that you can invert. So you can see, you know, it starts there, you can invert it and it goes there. So you can move it around and start the pattern wherever you want. And then of course it works vertical as well. So I'm just gonna do two and we'll do the pattern loop. And you can see, then you get two off, two on, two off, two on, two off, two on. Doesn't look like I have enough edges there. So you only get one at the edge or whatever. And then same thing, invert. 
And of course that works with edges as well. So we can go four edges on pattern loop and that's instantaneous. And same thing with verts. Let's go four verts, pattern loop. And then you get that. And that one took like a little bit of time. And so I've actually put a warning in here. So if you select more than 16 components, if it's not an edge, like I said, the edges will be instant. But if you select more than 16 faces or more than 16 verts, you can see I have 21 selected and you try to run pattern loop or pattern ring, it will actually pop up this warning telling you, you have more than 16 selected. It's going to take a really long time. Are you sure? Maybe you want to save your scene first. And you can cancel out because what I was doing is I was accidentally had my selection from a previous modeling task and I accidentally clicked this button and it took like all day. So I had to crash Maya. So you can say no and then you can adjust your selection or you can save your scene or do whatever you want. So it's just a handy warning in there to keep you from accidentally freezing your Maya. It'll finish. It just might take forever. And it doesn't have to be two, four, six, eight or six, eight or whatever. You could do, you know, two on, two off pattern loop and do that. But you can also do three, although there's not enough edges in this for it to do it correctly, but it'll still try to work it out. So if you do three verts, for example, you'll get three on, three off, three on, three off. It'll just eventually here, it'll like add an extra one because it doesn't have enough edges, if that makes sense. So the next part here is the two loop and two ring button, and that does exactly what you think it does. It takes whatever two components you have and it converts those to a loop. Either way, same thing. And then same thing with the ring. Two ring will convert whatever those two to a ring or these two to a ring. There's no such thing as a face or vert ring, kind of. You know, this is to ring is meant for edges because there's edges between the two loops, I guess. But I just made the tool work anyway, so it'll just try to figure out whatever you have. So if we do this, for example, you can get a face loop that way, face loop that way. And then if you do a ring, you'll actually get that or this. So you can make some interesting selections. This stuff can be helpful to convert your current selection that you get from these other tools. Sometimes it's not really needed that much. But one thing you can use it to do is you can get a bunch of asymmetrical loops, for example, something like this, because all of these tools will only select symmetrical patterns. So for example, you can go to on to off and get the pattern loop but you can't go two on, three off, or four on, two off. You can only do the same number. So eight on, eight off, four on, four off, that type of thing. So in some situations, you might want to be able to do this. And you could also do something like this, take this and convert it into this. So a bunch of different options there. Another thing I should mention is this tool does not work on triangles and it does not work on n-gons. On triangles, it'll just mess up your selection completely. On n-gons, it will ignore them. So if I wanted to do a pattern loop like this, it's just going to ignore that final face. So even when you do the invert or whatever, it's just not going to select that. So just something to be aware of. And if the object can't form a ring, like if Maya's default tool couldn't convert that to a ring, if there was some tries in there or some welded verts or something, it just wouldn't work. You'll just get a wonky selection. Okay, so moving along to dot ring. So, you know, just like dot loop, it's the same thing, but it's for a ring. So the cool thing is it's always you select two adjacent components. So you never need to remember it's the buttons that change, but the selection is always the same. So dot ring for verts will give us this. It'll give you every other ring, basically. And then same thing with faces. We can do this. We get the dot ring, dot ring of rings, I guess, for faces, which is pretty cool. And then you can go the other way. Get the dot ring of rings vertical, which is handy. The same thing works with verts as well. So you do a dot ring this way, and you can get every other vert. And then you could do it this way and get every other vert that way. And I won't bother showing edges because everyone could already do edges before. Okay, and then finally, we've got the pattern ring. So let's do faces again. So we'll select these two and click the pattern ring. And then that will give us two on, two off, two on, two off, or whatever. Let's go three, sure. 
and then you know whatever there's the three on three off so same thing i mean these basically are the same thing one selects the rings and one selects the loops and then one is alternating these two green buttons alternate one on one off and then the blue buttons allow you to define what you want to do so you could also do this do a pattern ring horizontally and we'll get four on or we could do it vertically two on two off let's try that and then you get that you get a space of two as opposed to using the dot ring which will always give you a space of one or this way like that so pretty cool uh, you can basically select all of the patterns that I could think of. I think this should pretty much make everyone be able to do what they wanted. I think mostly all that people really wanted to do was select every other vert. So you can just use the dot loop for that by selecting two verts. And you get every other vert. Or you could use the dot ring and get every second one that way. Or we could go vertical and do the dot ring and get everyone that way. Maybe that's what people are looking for so they can optimize their mesh or something. Either way, I think there's lots of options in here now. Ever since I first started using Maya, people were asking like, how can I select every other vert? And uh, finally we can, so that is pretty cool. If you've already purchased the Megascript pack or the modeling pack, this will be a free update. So you just need to download the same file again from your original email link to get the new stuff. If you haven't purchased the script yet, you can grab the script by itself in the modeling pack, or you can get it in the mega script pack. So take your pick. Thanks very much for watching this video. Without viewers like you, this channel would not exist. If you liked this video and enjoy the channel, please support me by purchasing something from the online store. Each purchase goes towards creating more video content and keeps the channel ad free. See you next time. Have an outstanding day.